Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing one massive haul. I have just been going on a huge shopping binge. I don't know what's going on, but Ulta has their 21 days of beauty going on. They have killer steals. There's also been a lot of makeup brands that have been having pretty good sales. And then I requalified for VIB with Sephora, so they sent me like a 10% discount code that I had to use had to use <laughs> they give you like a certain amount of time to use it so i spent that and here we are doing one big haul some of these items were sent to me and then a bunch of them i purchased but as always i always let you guys know what was sent and what wasn't but anyways before we get started if you're new to my channel then welcome to my channel make sure before you leave you do not forget to subscribe down below that way you're notified for future videos from me i post twice a week so i post on sundays and wednesdays and then i throw in some bonus videos in here and there but i am so excited to start opening up this stuff swatching everything you guys know that i literally like get packages whenever i purchase stuff and i set them aside and i don't dig in until after i haul them for you guys so this is like really exciting for me because i get to like play with everything on camera so yeah let's get started and another thing this is probably going to be a very a very long video so grab a snack or a drink because we're going to be here for a while <laughs> okay the thing that i purchased is from loving tan and this is their two hour express tan i haven't self tanned all winter but it's getting to the point where i'm about to have to start wearing capris and this stuff is super awesome if you guys don't like self tanners this one is so amazing i used to dread like getting a self tan because i was so scared it was going to be orange or it was going to get all over my sheets and this is just a two hour express tan you put it on it's a mousse you wipe it off in two hours and you literally go from like pale to just walked off the beat it also came with one of their deluxe application mitts i have a code with them <laughs> It's not like a commission code, so I like use my own code to get the mint, but they do offer like a free mint with purchase. And I haven't actually tried their tanning mint, so I'm excited to see how this one works. Okay, next order I actually placed from Beautylish, and I cannot believe that I still have not dug into this stuff. I mean, I have been very strong for you guys. <laughs> so Wayne Goss came out with a new brush set. He, I want to say like reformulated his brushes, but y'all know what I mean. He changed the face set up a little bit. And I definitely signed up first on the list. His brushes are so soft and all the ones that I own, I really, really love. They are pricey, but they're definitely worth it. So this is what the new face set looks like. It comes with six different brushes. So you have the number 12 brush, which I really love to kind of just like get in and do a nice contour with again these are very similar to his other face set so i haven't used these yet the number 13 which i think is really great for bronzer and i think you can actually use this for foundation as well the number 10 brush which is really good for like a nice under eye powder and these brushes they are so soft like you just have to feel them to believe them because they just feel so good on the skin. And then the next thing is the number 11. I love this for like a blush application. And then you have the number 14, which is really nice for powder. And then you have the number 15, which is a nice fan brush. So I'm very excited to finally put those to use. Along with that, I decided to order some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. I just love her line and I really wanted this face powder after I saw Jaclyn Hill use it. Of course, I like watch other YouTubers and then I like get so excited at stuff that they're putting on that then I want to try it. So this is called the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. That is a long name. <laughs> and I got the shade number two. I think it will be really nice. It's just going to be like a very thin type setting powder, but it looked really, really pretty in the video she did. So I was like, hmm, I might as well go ahead and just pick that up while I'm ordering the brushes. <laughs> Next thing I got is a blush from her. Her blushes are my all time favorite. And I picked up the color Love Glow. I'm pretty sure this is my friend Trisha from A Glittery Life's like one of her favorite blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. I love her Swish and Pop blushes because the outside is a different color than the middle. So then you have like a really nice shade to put on your cheeks and then like a pop of color on the apples of your cheeks. And this one's like a very light shade, but it's really, really pretty. It has pink and then it has peach in it as well. Okay, here's what these two colors look like. So you have your like more pinky shade and then your more like peach shade. Okay, the next two things are from By Terry. And one thing I purchased, one thing I was actually sent. 
from Batarian Octoly. So the first thing is the Sun Designer palette and you guys know that I like did a swap for the darker one with the Beautylish Lucky Bag. And I love it so much. They're coming out with a new one and I was so scared that the lighter one would sell out. So I finally bit the bullet and went ahead and picked it up because this is seriously like, oh my gosh, it's the best formula that I've ever felt. I love, love the bronzer, but the one I have is a little bit too dark. Okay, so here's what that looks like. This is such a pretty palette. You have six different shades. You have like a really pretty like bronzer, blush and like just a light setting powder and there are those three shades right there i mean do you see that bronzer it is so freaking pigmented like the first time i ever put on the darker palette i thought i was gonna pass out <laughs> because it was way more than what i ever expected and then this one i actually like this one better because of these three shades right here that highlight shade on the end looks absolutely gorgeous and seeing the darker one the three on the end are actually more like blushes these are absolutely gorgeous so i'm really really excited to put these to use because this one just suits my skin tone a lot better than the darker one and again i just didn't want to bite the bullet at first on spending that much money but once i tried the one that i swapped for i was like okay i have to have it <laughs> So the next thing from Batiri is the Glow Expert Duo Stick. So basically this duo has a blush and a highlighter and then it comes with a brush on the bottom which I think is nice that they incorporated that into the packaging. Okay so the color they sent me is the number two and it's the Terra Rosa and here's what it looks like in the tube. It has like a pink and then a more like highlighty shade. Oh my gosh this is so creamy. Do you guys see that pigmentation? So let's take the brush and see what it looks like once it's blended out because this would be so pretty to just like kind of do a stripe across your face and then go in and blend it out with this brush. Oh yes, I'm going to be abusing this in the summertime. Like you know those days that you really just don't want a whole lot on your face but you can go in with like maybe like a cream bronzer and then you could go in with this and put it over top of it. I think that would be a really, really awesome. And I'm going to be testing this out probably in my first impression like series really, really soon. And two, like once you smooth it out, you can even like rub it in with the highlight and just create like a really beautiful kind of like even sheer if you want to sheer it out blush color. So I'm very, very excited about that. Okay, next thing I want a little bit ham and I ordered so many shades of the Fiona Styles Matte Foundation. So I recently did like a first impressions video and I used this foundation in it and I was so blown away. I talked about it in my favorites video, but it's on sale right now at Ulta for $15. It's like 50% off. So there was no way that I was not gonna get like plenty of backups. I wanted to actually use this in my kit when people come to me since it is like a glass bottle, but it's a very, very full coverage foundation. And it reminds me a lot of Estee Lauder Double Wear, except it's not like as heavy. It's a very, very light formula. So yeah, 50% off I had had <laughs> to go ahead and like get some of these because it was such a good deal way too good to pass up huge box from sephora so the first thing i got is two of the mark jacobs highliners i've been seeing everybody wear these and you know what i really don't wear that many eyeliners and i think that all the looks i've been seeing with like the color and the waterline looks so pretty that i want to kind of like test the waters with them and I also got the Tarte Fake Awake eyeliner as well because again, I don't ever like probably in the past three years, I've probably never put a color in my waterline. That's crazy, I know, right? <laughs> so the first shade of Marc Jacobs and here's what the packaging looks like is called Whirlpool and this is just such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh, it's even prettier when you swipe it. Look at that. So this is going to be super pretty. I have a look in mind that I really want to do and I want to incorporate this shade. So I'm very, very excited about that. And a few things that I purchased is because there's a look I have in mind that I want to do and I want to use some of these things to create it. So the next shade is the color Fine Wine and it's more of like a burgundy red color. I think this one's just so unique and I'm really excited to use these. They feel very, very creamy, and I hope they are just as pigmented like on the waterline as they look 
on my hand whenever I swatch them. And then the last one again is the Fake Awake by Tarte. This one's more of like a nude color. You know when you look like very tired. This is going to like really make you look more awake. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's so cute with the little like stars and everything on it. And it's a very pretty just like light nude chain. So there are those three swatched. Next thing I purchased is from Milk Makeup, and I asked you guys on Instagram if you would like me to pick this up and kind of like review it, and a ton of you guys said that you were really curious about it. So this is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. This is like a moisturizer that you put on like before you do your makeup, but it's in a stick, and I'm very, very intrigued by this. A lot of Milk Makeup products that I've tried, I really, really love. So I'm sure I will like this one as well. And keep your eye out because it will be like in a first impressions tutorial very soon. I think I'm going to start filming those next weekend. And I'm just so excited to dig into some of this stuff. Next two things are also sold at Sephora, but they were actually sent to me from Octoly and Javinci and Sol de Janeiro. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> okay, so this is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and I've heard so many people talk about this. I was so, so curious, and I can really see what the hype is about. So basically what this is, is that it's a fast drying cream, and it's supposed to help tighten and smooth your skin, and it also comes in such a neat package, but this stuff smells so good. The first day it came in, I like kept opening it and smelling it. And I went up to snow and I was like, oh my gosh, smell how good this is. And here's what the container looks like. But it does make your skin feel really, really smooth. And it does dry really fast. And it smells so good. I'm not one that normally like loves lotions because I hate the like stickiness feeling on your hands, but this one does dry really fast and I did really like it. So I can see what the hype's about. I'm pretty sure whenever I finish this bottle, I will probably be going back for more. JaVinci was kind enough to send me their mascara and this looks so interesting to me. I'm definitely, definitely going to be putting this in a tutorial. So here's what the packaging looks like and it's a mascara. The wand on this is unlike anything that I've ever used before, but literally the end of the wand looks like a spiky ball. So here's what the wand applicator looks like and I've looked up reviews and a lot of people have said that they really, really like this. So I am so intrigued and I'm really excited to try this out and give you guys like my full thoughts on it. So we have lots of stuff. This is going to be such a fun month of first impressions and try on tutorials and everything. I cannot wait to lipstick. So the first one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is in the shade Madison. This looks like such a pretty color for the springtime and it's so, so vibrant. So here's what it looks like in the tube. And this is like such a fun color. So that right there is called Madison by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's her liquid lipstick. And then the next thing is a metallic lipstick, and this is from Touch and Soul. I won a contest on their Instagram, and I was so excited to try this out. I actually have one of their duos for the eyes, and I really, really like that. So this is a liquid fold lipstick duo, and this is in the shade Penny. And what I really liked about this is it is very, very wearable. So this is what the liquid lipstick looks like. And then they have a gloss that you can kind of pair over it, but I'll put it right beside of it just so you guys can see it. So here's what that looks like. But I love how wearable these shades are because I feel like sometimes some companies like do some really crazy colors with the metallic lipsticks where it's almost like too far out of my comfort zone to wear. So I think this one's like a really pretty shade and then it's also very wearable as well. And again, that is in the shade Penny. Okay, then I went on some type of like huge brush binge. I don't know how that got started. I watched Jaclyn Hill's video, the one with that powder, and I saw her use this Le Mer brush. And do you guys ever watch people use brushes and you're like, Oh my gosh, that brush just looks like so soft. Like I bet it must feel like so good on their face. I'm so weird if no one else feels the same way. But I saw this brush and I just thought to myself like Danielle, you have to have that brush. It just looks so nice. This is the Le Mer powder brush and here's what it looks like. I snapped you guys on Snapchat and I had like a couple of you guys snap me back and say that you own this and like it's the best investment that you ever made. So I went ahead and picked it up. It feels so soft 
and it's just like so big to do your face with with the powder brush if you wanted like a cheaper alternative the Sephora brush I think it's like the number 40 maybe it looks very very similar to this but I'm excited to test this out. Okay, so speaking of Sephora brushes, they were having a huge sale on their brushes. They were in the sale section and I was like, oh my gosh, now's my chance to hop on them. I went to try to pick some up at I'm at LA and a lot of the ones that I really wanted were sold out. So, I snagged me some on the sale section at Sephora. <laughs> if these are still available, I will definitely leave them linked down below because some of them were like half off. So it was a really, really steal. Okay, so the first one is the Pro All Over Powder Brush. And here's what this looks like. It looks very similar to like that really big Morphe brush that a lot of people use. But this is like so soft. I don't know why I'm like obsessed with powder brushes right now. And like why I'm doing this, I have no idea. But <laughs> it was a really good deal. I think it was like $20. Next thing that I picked up is the Dome Crease Brush, the number 16. And here's what this looks like. I think this would also be really good underneath your lower lash line. Then I have a Pro Flat Concealer Brush and a Pro Cream Shadow Brush. Honestly, they almost look the same except one smaller than the other. And here are what these two look like. And then the very last one that I picked up from the Sephora brand is their Airbrush Blush Brush. And here's a close-up of it. And then one of my lovely friends from Snapchat sent me a message and said that I had to try the Urban Decay. This is called their Eyeshadow Contour Brush. I swear it was called something like Finger Brush. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is the one they said to get. And here's like a close-up of that brush. I've never tried any of Urban Decay's brushes, so I'm excited to kind of see what these look like. It's very different. It's really small as far as like the size of it. So here's what that looks like unwrapped. It has metal around the top. But again, this looks really good too to like underneath the eye. And she said that it would be really great to pack stuff on your lid that it's just like your finger or better <laughs> for packing stuff on your lid. So I cannot wait to try out all these brushes. I'm very, very excited. And then also, I uh, shamelessly ended up being VIB Rouge with my orders. And they sent me, I think, a brush, actually. Sorry, I didn't realize there's so many brushes in this haul. It says, it's going to be a beautiful year with our thanks, Sephora Beauty Insider. It is a Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. It looks almost like the blush brush. So, I'm excited to try this out. <laughs> it's really cute. And I like that they gave you a brush because a lot of times they give you like a super mini lipstick or maybe something that you may not really use. Okay, last two things that I'm going to wrap this haul up. There's definitely going to be a part two because I have a lot more stuff to show you guys, but I also didn't want the video to be like five hours long. So I picked up the NARS. This is their Blanc de Sable Highlight Palette. And I was thinking about the first impression tutorials and I don't have like a ton of like new highlighters. So that's why I wanted to get this palette to try it out. But these look really, really nice. One thing I really like is even though they're like super, super bright and like BAM highlighters, they also feel like very smooth and kind of thin. Like they don't feel chunky or anything like that. And there are those swatched on the hand. They look really, really pretty. And sorry, I know some of this stuff's like really high end, but this Tom Ford highlighter, I saw my friend Trish haul it and I convinced myself I had to have it. Like at first I was not even interested in it. And then I saw that thing swatched like live on camera and I was like, okay. I have to have it. So this is the Tom Ford Sheer Highlighting Duo. It's from the new Summer Collection. And oh, I'm hoping this is as pretty as it looks. It is. <laughs> so here are what these two colors look like. Honestly, it kind of reminds me a little bit maybe of the two shades that are in the NARS one. So if you are really wanting to like get the most bang for your buck. Yeah, look at that. If you're really wanting to get the most bang for your buck, I almost would get the NARS one. Because if you look at them, like the NARS one's on top, Tom Ford's on the bottom, they are kind of similar. This Tom Ford shade down at the bottom is a little bit darker, but yeah, very, 
very similar. So anyways, that's going to wrap up part one of this haul, but let me know down below what you guys are excited to see in like first impressions videos. I cannot wait to try all this stuff out. Be on the lookout for part two. I'll probably put up a first impressions tutorial this coming Sunday and do part two of this haul next week because there is one item that I actually got this week that I'm not allowed to show until next week and I want to show it to you guys so bad. So I'll probably upload that haul next Wednesday. But anyways, okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.